Hey guys, it's Andrea here from Crafter Support and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be sharing a processing video of me making journaling pages for my kids in their back to school scrapbook. So I'm using the Harvest Hellos stamp set and some ink and a punch from Stampin' Up, but you can use any brand, whatever you decide you're like the theme that you're going for in your project. You don't have to buy the stuff that I have. I don't even know if all of it's available, but I just want you guys to like start thinking creatively. Maybe you want to do like a baseball theme one if your child's into baseball or football or um, just fall in general or just a Halloween journal. Um, and I have a really fun journal coming up about Halloween, but I don't want to give any spoilers. So you'll definitely want to keep watching and subscribe if you're not a subscriber so you don't miss that video. But moving on. So I'm making journaling cards and I'm just using the same color as I did when I did the original layouts of the other pages. If you haven't watched those videos, they are up. Just scroll through our the video lineup and you'll find them. So I'm batch videoing, which means I'm making a bunch of videos and then I'm picking the ones and putting them out in the order that I feel they best need to go out in. So in this project, I just am using what I have. So I'm using um, the punches that I have and the paper that I have. But in more videos that will be coming, I'm going to show you how to make your own designer paper, how to make your own cutouts, how to make your own drawings using your Cricut and your printer. So that's just a heads up. I want you guys to be able to make whatever you possibly can with your machines. I'm also going to be doing ones for the scan and cut. You're not going to want to miss that either. Even if you don't have a scan and cut, I think you will enjoy the video process of the um, how it works. So I'm just trying to give you guys a rundown of some things that will be happening. Also, my studio is being completely taken away. We are going to be redoing the room and we're actually weirdly switching our kitchen from, from one room of our house to the other. And we're adding on a fourth bedroom and my new studio will be in the corner of the bedroom. So if you guys have a small craft room, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a small craft room in the future because that's what I'm basically going down to is a small craft corner and I'm leaving a huge studio area to put everything into a small area. It's going to be fine. It's going to work out. It's going to be amazing. But until then, here's the videos. Also, Crafter Support is going to be doing our lives again. Uh, Brandy and I are working on some things. We're trying to figure out some dates that are going to work um, with school starting for her kids. And then, but we're not going to be doing them here. Obviously, in my studio, we're going to be doing them at a different place. So be on the lookout for that as well. So I think that's all like of the stuff that I wanted to really give you guys information on. And if you're not a member of our Facebook page, make sure you jump over to Crafter Support on Facebook and ask to join and we will gladly accept you. Um, yeah, so now back to the video. And here I'm just making their journal. No, I'm already onto our journaling pages. And if you haven't seen me use the rolling like the little brayer, that thing is amazing, especially um, whenever you're using glue. I really like using that now. And here's where I'm using my stamp. So this is stays on ink. It's a dark black ink. And I'm deciding what I want to, um, what all stamps I want to use. And these are just like little seeds, like apple seeds. And I decide to color those. They're, I know they're supposed to be black, but I color them the poppy parade color. And then I'm stamping to... Um, little things it says like you make me smile and that's what's going to go on to the center of the apple that we stamp and punch out so when I'm stamping the apples do I stamp oh I color first okay so these are my stamp and write markers they are from stamping up but you can use any markers get whatever markers you have Crayola they're my next brand that I like to use my daughter has um, Copic markers if you have those I buy them for my daughter, but I don't buy them for myself. I like my Stampin' Up! markers. Technically, you're supposed to lay them down, but I only use the big ends because they're double-ended. I only use like the paintbrush end, so I just set mine up with the paint end down so that the ink is going down. 
Next, I'm getting out my Stamparatus. This is just a stamp positioning tool. It's not a big deal. Um, the only thing about this is it has these really, really, really strong magnets. And you don't want them to touch because they can get stuck together. And they're kind of hard to pry apart. That's why I have the black tape on them so it's easy for me to lift them and pick them up. So now I'm deciding that I want to make the um, apples green. And it'll just be the outline that's green. And then I'm going to stamp another one. If you're not familiar with the Stamparatus um, and what a stamp positioning tool is, it's just a way to keep your um, position every time you stamp. So say you stamp it once and it doesn't come out as dark as you'd like it, you can just put more ink on the stamp and repress it as long as you don't move the paper. So that's the joy of using the Stamparatus. And there's other ones out there. The Misty has one. I thought I think We Are Memory Keepers has something similar as well. And here I cut it too small. So all I'm going to do is use some washi tape, which this turns into a whole thing. And I'm just taping it onto an index card so I can punch it out properly. And then I see how cute the little stem and leaf came out with the washi tape on it. So then I'm like, oh, I'm going to make more like that. And I do. So that's one way to decorate your paper if you don't have um, decorative paper, but you have washi tape. I've done this in the past with um, like hearts. I had to make hearts for something, but I didn't have decorative paper that would match. So I took washi tape and I washi taped a whole piece of paper and then I just cut the hearts out of that and it worked out perfectly. So here we're pretty much doing the same thing because I went right to the very edge of the paper when I cut it. And I'm just using the index card as more paper to hold on to. And then I decide for sure I want to use uh, the washi tape stem and leaf. And then I believe I cut another piece off of that. But here I'm just trimming down the um, seeds and I'm going to make them into like a little banner. So I'm going to give it a little fishtail cut whenever I'm done just trying to straighten it out now because it was kind of wonky and then I'm going to cut it in half and then the open end where there's a lot of white I'm just going to trim up the middle and then cut in the sides and that gives you that cute little like fishtail at the end so that's ready I'm just looking here how do I want to place it I decide I want to place it horizontally at the bottom and I'm glad I did because they turned out really cute and I'm just doing opposites. So again, this will be the one that my husband and I journal on for our kids. And I just wanted it to be super decorative and really cute. So now I'm going to put my apple up in the corner, giving myself enough room to put my stem and my leaf on. And I don't want it hanging off the edge because this is going to fit perfectly down into that pocket. So if you're unfamiliar with pocket pages in the... Um, scrapbooks they're usually four by six and then they have the smaller one which is like oh two and a half by three or two by threes and then they have like one page that's a five a four by six and then two of the two by threes like it it's all like pre-done for you so all you have to do is slide your pictures into them and now I'm just trimming off this little piece here to put inside of the apple and I'm using glue I'm running out of like adhesive which is unheard of for me because I usually have a ton but remember when I said I wasn't going to be buying stuff I was going to be using what I have well I've stayed true to that and I'm really running low on some things so once I get down to my last one of each thing I'm going to go and order some more and I'll probably do like some sort of haul for you guys of what all I pick up because I do want to start um, putting together kits for you guys. Um, if we ever uh, do something like we get together to do make and takes and stuff like that, that's kind of what Brandy and I have been discussing. And we want you guys to be able to have something that you can make and take along with you. So I am going to have to be doing some shopping for that. And now these are completely ready to go. They can slide down into the book and they look super cute. And I think my kids are going to like them. Um, they do appreciate the work that I put into making their scrapbooks. And especially my daughter, she really likes it. But yeah, guys, that's everything. I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. 
I'm going to have more to share with this scrapbook once they start uh, really diving into school and working on some projects. And until then, um, yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you all have a great day, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.